Iran has promoted the Fatah hypersonic missile, which it claims can reach Tel Aviv in about 400 seconds. Because of their speed and agility, Israel's hypersonic missiles are notoriously hard to intercept, raising the issue of whether this missile is a bluff directed at Israel. The answer is no. The United States is the only other nation along with North Korea, China, and India that has developed hypersonic missile technology. Hence, Iran is claiming to be the fourth nation to do so. Furthermore, Iran is particularly serious about developing hypersonic missiles. Let's see what they have in store. Moreover, there are already two variations of the Fatah created by the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps Aerospace Force. Although several ballistic missiles can already reach hypersonic speeds, Fatah-1 is Iran's first hypersonic ballistic missile. Iran believes that Fatah's great capabilities and speed allow it to overcome all missile defense systems. Fatah is one of a class of weapons that only a few nations possess. On November 10, 2022, which is historically significant as the 11th anniversary of the passing of Hassan Tarani Magdam, regarded as the founder of Iran's missile program, Iran declared that it has developed an advanced hypersonic ballistic missile, calling it a significant generational advancement. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps commander, Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadah, asserts that the missile can move quickly and both above and below Earth's atmosphere. His most audacious claim is that it can penetrate all anti-missile defense systems, and that it may take decades for a system to be developed that can intercept the Fatah missile. The development of the Fatah missile is not just a threat, rather, it's a coordinated effort between the Revolutionary Guards and the Ministry of Defense, showcasing their complementary capabilities. Iran is developing the Fatah to strengthen its deterrent power and to boost security. It is true what the Iranian Revolutionary Guards say. The first hypersonic missile to be developed, Fatah-1, has a speed between Mach 13 and Mach 15, or 9,942 to 11,184 miles per hour. Its range is 870 miles, and it is believed that it can reach some of Israel's territory because it uses a two-stage solid fuel engine. The Fatah Variant 1 warhead also features a solid fuel engine with a movable nozzle that enables the warhead to travel in all directions and increase speed on its own. It is capable of carrying warheads weighing anywhere from 771 to 992 pounds. June 2023 saw the launch of Iran's Fatah 1 hypersonic missile. A few months after, shocking the world by launching its first hypersonic missile, Fatah-1, Iran demonstrated a more powerful variant, Fatah-2, in response to Israel's indiscriminate attacks on the Gaza Strip. State media in June also released photos of the inauguration ceremony, which was attended by President Ibrahim Rizai and senior commanders of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. The West immediately responded to this launch, accusing Iran of violating the UN resolution on the 2015 nuclear deal. Nevertheless, Iran remains committed to developing its missile defense program despite oppositions from America and the West. Iran notes that its missiles can breach all enemy defenses and are a clear signal to its regional foes, particularly with the launch of Fatah-2. This makes it automatically the second hypersonic missile built in a few months. Since the Fatah-2 missile runs on liquid fuel instead of petrol, it is expected to have a larger range than the Fatah-1 which is 1,242 miles, which means it can automatically cover all of Israel. Thanks to its ability to fly at lower altitudes than Fatah-1, as well as its launch capabilities, which allow it to follow a more unexpected trajectory and perhaps counter the enemy's mid-position, Fatah-2 is probably going to be the preferred option for carrying out a preliminary attack. Iran's ability to produce this kind of hypersonic weapon is further demonstrated by the Fatah-2, which falls into the hypersonic glide vehicle, also known as HGV and hypersonic cruise missile, better known as HCM categories. Despite this, little is known about Iran's Fatah-2, as the national media only offers scant information about the projectile's technical specifications due to a dearth of credible evidence. However, if Fatah-2 is a missile in the HGV class, we should try to compare it with the HGVs that are currently in operation. For instance, Russia has an HGV called Avangard, mounted on an intercontinental ballistic missile, also known as Sarmat. The Sarmat missile program, which was supposed to be operational by 2020, was revealed by the Russian military in 2014. The maiden launch test of the RS-28 Sarmat was carried out successfully in December 2017, 
after tests were completed in 2016. Moreover, trials for the missile, which has a 35,000 kilometer suborbital flight capability, should be finished by 2021. In August 2022, the first contact for the manufacturing of missiles was signed, and in September 2023, the weapon system was officially put into combat service. Making our way over to the Fatah II, military experts doubt that it has such advanced technology that even modern-day countries having the most advanced technology are struggling with. With a 2 megaton explosive strength, which is 100 times more powerful than the nuclear bomb detonation in Hiroshima, it can travel between 14,913 and 20,506 miles per hour, or 20 to 27 times the speed of sound. Moreover, China has an HGV called DFZF installed on its DF-17. The United States is expected to launch its long-range hypersonic weapon named Dark Eagle. This weapon was supposed to be operational since September 2023, but its delivery was delayed due to the cancellation of a critical test of its launch vehicle. This hypersonic missile can travel at a speed of 7,672 miles per hour, or 10 times faster than the speed of sound carrying a nuclear payload. Meanwhile, the US has lagged behind its enemies in the race to develop hypersonic technology. Fatah 2 is again difficult to predict. However, referring to its predecessors, whose missile speed reaches 13 to 15 times the speed of sound, Fatah 2 actually surpasses these four countries that are actively developing hypersonic missiles. It has the potential to fly faster than these four countries, they travel at more than twice the speed of sound and follow unpredictable trajectories, making them extremely difficult to shoot down as we've already explained. China and Russia already have operational hypersonic weapons, but the United States is still in the development process. Interestingly, a few days after Iran launched its hypersonic missile Fatah-1, in some cases with Israel taking a different position, the missile can reportedly reach them in just 400 seconds. That is just mind-blowing. Skysonic, an Israeli hypersonic missile interceptor, is being developed, according to an announcement made by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, a synchronized sensor system that can precisely detect and locate targets throughout the hypersonic missile trajectory is how Rafael started building the hypersonic missile interceptor. Accurate trajectory projection also demands an interceptor that can reach the target swiftly, minimizing faults in target accuracy. Though no actual experiments have yet been carried out on this missile, it is rumored that multiple bids totaling a notional value of $10.6 billion have been made, making this the biggest order in the company's history. The missile is still under development. Again, due to Iran's reputation for exaggerating its claim, many experts doubt Fatah's hypersonic capabilities. However, if true, Israel should exercise caution given the distance. The Iranian province of Khuzestan, which borders Iraq, is approximately 621 miles from Tel Aviv. Therefore, Iran's claim that it would take a missile 400 seconds to reach this metropolitan center is very plausible. The missile would need to travel faster than Mach 7, according to Iran, but its actual speed is closer to Mach 13 to Mach 15. Due to its requirements under the nuclear treaties, Iran is in fact forbidden from launching heavier missiles, although Iran's partners include Hezbollah and the other non-state groups that have stated they are prepared to destroy Israel. With that being said, we come to the conclusion of this video. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like and subscribing to our channel because we post a lot of videos like these. Oh, and also, do comment below what video you would like for us to do next.